An Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales Book 1, Chapter 10 Meditation 2 On the End for Which We Are Created Preparation 1. Place Yourself in the Presence of God Entreat Him to inspire you. God did not create you because He had any need of you, for you are wholly useless to Him, but only that He might exercise towards you His goodness, bestowing on you His grace and glory in order to which he has given you an understanding to know him, a memory to remember him, a will to love him, an imagination to recall his mercies, eyes to see the wonders of his works, a tongue to praise him, and so on with all your other faculties. Therefore, being created and placed in the world for this purpose, you should avoid and reject all actions which are contrary to it, and despise as idle and superfluous all which do not promote it. Consider the wretchedness of the world, which forgets this, and goes on as though the end of creation were to plant and build, to amass wealth, and to live in frivolity. Affections and Resolutions Confound yourself, reproaching your soul with her past neglect, in reflecting so little upon this. Alas, O oh my God, where were my thoughts when I forgot Thee? What did I love when I did not love Thee? When I should have been nourished and fed with truth, I filled myself with vanity and served that world which is made to be my servant. Abhor your past life. I renounce you, O oh vain thoughts and idle meditations. I abjure you, O oh evil and detestable remembrances. I renounce you false and treacherous friendships, lost labors, empty pleasures, miserable deluding satisfactions. Turn to God. And thou, my God, my Savior, from henceforth alone you shall fill my thoughts. No more will I wander amidst reflections which displease you. My memory shall daily fill with the greatness of your loving kindness so graciously displayed toward me. You shall be the delight of my heart and the sweetness of my affections. Henceforth I will detest the frivolities and amusements, the empty pursuits which occupied my time. Such and such affections which absorb my heart, I renounce. To which end I will seek such and such remedies. Conclusion Thank God who has made you for so good a purpose. 
you have made me, O Lord, for yourself, and that I may forever share the immensity of your glory. When shall I be worthy of your goodness, and thank you worthily? Offer I offer to you, O my Creator, all my affections and resolutions, with all my heart and all my soul. Pray. I beseech you, O Lord, accept these my desires and vows, and give your blessing to my soul, so that I may have strength to accomplish them through the merit of the blood of your Son shed on the cross for me. Make the little bouquet of devotion. End of chapter 10 of book 1